Planet Zoo has been rated E10 plus by the MSRB for crude humor, mild blood, and mild violence. It has been approved for all persons ages 10 and over. This video is brought to you in part by The Night Sheriff by Phil Foglio. Bartholomew Xenon Xenon Land is protected by the Night Sheriff. Day and night, he's burdened by a witch's curse to be aware of all that live and play within the massive fantasy theme park. Now an attack on the park by a monster hunter who knows far too much threatens everything. The guests, the staff, and the supernaturals who take refuge in the park. The Night Sheriff must scramble to uncover not only the source of the threat, but the secrets of the park of which even he was not aware. If he doesn't, he may be doomed. The park may be doomed, and even the world may be doomed. And that's a lot of doom. Go to Amazon.com for your copy today. Hey kids, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Planet Zoo and the Rainbow Valley Zoo Project. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is we are going, going to uh, be adding a habitat, a paddock, if you will, for the Chevalsky's horse. I learned how to pronounce that first word. I know it's not spelled that way, but that's how it's pronounced, Chevalsky. So I'm just going to go with it. You can also call it the, Mon the Mongolian horse, and apparently you can also call it the pea horse, and biologists will know which species you're talking about. So anyway, we're going to put it in this general area, this paddock, and what I was planning on doing was basically making uh, a kind of a barn, and then... Uh, you know, a, uh, uh, what would you call it? Um, I forget what the, a pasture. Because, you know, it's a horse. I know it's a wild horse, but it's still a horse. So anyway, I'm going to uh, transfer you guys over to the time lapse, and we're going to get to building. If uh, it turns out that you like what I'm doing here, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, by all means, let me know what you think about what I'm doing here. I appreciate hearing from you. I love hearing from you. So let's get started, shall we?
And here we have our finished habitat. It is uh, pretty basic, I think, but you know what? It works for the horses. I like the appearance of the grounds. I wanted to basically do a pasture look as if these horses weren't you know, on a farm, but rather were kept out uh, in a natural area. I give them a little pond. They can drink from that, but they also have clean drinking water back here, as well as some food and some additional bedding. Or they can go undercover in the building to hide if they want to, if the, if the people get too stressful. They've got lots of toys, they've got plenty of space, and they are happy. Now, uh, this is the second species I've added from the brand new uh, conservation pack. I look forward to finding out about them and seeing how they how they work in the uh, in the zoo. Um, next up, we are finally getting to the phoenix, and we're going to finally do the foxes. And I'm still going to put them over here near the hyenas. So anyway, if you liked that build, if you like what I've been doing here. Please hit that like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Might as well mention that too. And above all, go ahead and let me know what you think in the comments below. I want to hear from you. Let me know what you think I could have improved. Let me know what you think I'm doing wrong or what I'm doing right for that matter. And I'm going to leave you with a cinematic of the horses. to end the video. So I will see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.